And this is considered a minimally invasive spine fusion. My name is Dr. Arthur Jenkins. I'm an associate professor of both neurosurgery and orthopedic surgery. Minimally invasive procedures do give you a much shorter recovery time, much smaller incision to heal. Uh, they allow you to get, kind of get back on your feet a little bit faster. The spine comes down and sits on top of the sacrum and the sacrum sits in between the two wings of the iliac bones. So thus the sacroiliac joint. So in this particular patient, she had arthritis or degeneration in this joint here. And so we took a lateral approach coming from the side and drilled a small pilot hole through with a, a wire at three different points. Once each of the wires were drilled, we use that wire as a guide to then pass these triangular cages or weight-bearing struts into the spine from the hip bone, the iliac bone, to fix the two together. So with three of those in place, pinning her uh, tightly, these two bones will eventually heal and become one solid block of bone. The SI joint is joined only by ligaments that sit and hold the joint mostly together. X-ray. It allows for a little bit of rocking back and forth, but not fundamental movement across this joint. In fact, one of the reasons we have this joint at all is so that during pregnancy, when it's time to deliver the baby, the body produces a hormone called relaxin that allows the ligaments in the pelvis to become loose. And so that SI joint opens up to allow the baby to come out. For the right patient, though, this um, procedure, which is minimally invasive, allows for a fairly rapid recovery compared to some of the other bigger operations that are out there. Uh, will really change what their recovery is like by doing the most for them but the least to them.